Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sika and if you're new here, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every single time I post a new video. Today, I'm about to prepare my infamous fried rice with chicken. So stay with me, let me go freshen up and come back because I said now, I sound like a male. <laughs> Let's brush our teeth, take our bath, and then look all snatched up. <laughs> so guys, I was just called, the watcher is ready. <laughs> Watch anyway. <laughs> watch anyway. <laughs> so, there is Wache and there is um I see what I did. <laughs> there is normal stew that goes with it and then there is black pepper shito. Okay, so we are going to get into that. We are going to dig into that. And then when we are done later in the afternoon, we'll prepare our fried rice and then I'll give a little tutorial here and there, okay, on how I prepare it. All right, so let's go. We have the kitchen all to ourselves. And my camera woman, right? <laughs> all right, guys. So now we have the kitchen all to ourselves, and we are about to prepare my infamous fried rice. Come back, Okay, but um. We want to follow me, follow me, camera woman, follow me. Okay, guys, so our main ingredients um, for mixing the fried rice is chicken, um, sausages, and gizzard. Okay, so. Yanko, <laughs> really. <laughs> so we have our gizzard. Um, I think there's sausage. Ready? There's sausage. And um, chicken. And there's chicken as well yes so we're using the chicken gizzard and sausages okay inside the uh, you know the area will be home So whilst um, these are defrosting, we have to go in for our vegetables. Okay, we have to prep. These are typical Ghanaian veggies, so hmm, they are always not nice looking and clean. You have to clean them yourself. So, we are about to prep our veggies. Once I'm done, I will show you the clean version of it. Okay, Ghana we did. <laughs> Our freshly cut veggies. We're about to chop them and make it saucy enough for our fried rice. Okay, 
okay guys so these are our chopped vegetables and i place them in a the tissue just so it becomes really dry because we don't want to use wet veggies in our fried rice okay we are preparing assorted fried rice and chicken with chicken and chicken with chicken Emubia. Uh -huh. okay so since we are done prepping the vegetables chopping them into smaller pieces we'll go into the next step where we blend onions garlic and ginger okay we we'll blend them together okay guys so we're about to start our assorted fried rice and chicken <laughs> yes so our ingredients for this special food are um rice the first we have is rice rice yes and then oil we have oil we have this um sauce it is a mixture of garlic onion ginger and pepper and water yes that is what you'll be using to steam our chicken and the gizzard of course we have salt we have curry powder we have um, dark sauce dark sauce with their chew <laughs> we have dark sauce we have um, our salt seasoning the seasoning blend for the chicken and then I'm sure I'll add just a little bit into the rice to give it extra taste okay so we have our um, chopped veggies here I place them in the tissue as I said before to soak the water okay to make all the water come out of the veggies so the veggies is made up of carrots bell it's made up of carrots onion green pepper um spring onion i don't know if spring onion has another name but maybe the minimum is the spring onion yes um we also have chicken gizzard and sausages so um we will cook the rice first okay because the rice has to be well cooked and then scooped into a bowl to be able to um cool down okay so you have to cook the rice first for it to cool down but then once we are cooking the rice we will steam we will prep the chicken and steam it as well let's go Okay guys, before we cook the rice, I don't know if I'm the only person who does this, but then I wash the excess carbohydrates out of the rice, okay? So you have to wash the rice thoroughly and make sure that all the carbo is out because you don't want a, a constipation. In particular, you need to eat for our curry powder scoop just about two um, teaspoons okay and i think just one is okay because we don't want our rice looking all yellowish we go in for our salt just one and a little bit more when we are done, we add the Maggi cube, half of it, okay? Once everything is set, you mix them together. And you add a little bit of oil to make them individualize. <laughs> then add water. Since we don't want our rice to be 
very very soft i think the water would have to be like just about the right amount so guys our rice is cooked and we are scooping it okay so we are scooping all the rice in this bowl and then we will cover it with a mesh so that all the paper can come out and the rice can cool down the main reason or the actual reason i don't know but that is the only thing i know that we don't want to fry it while it's hot okay it has to cool down so that it is in its solid state so that when we fry it it will be crispy enough because i think when it is hot and you try it it becomes soft i don't know but there's no proof to that but yeah so let's cook it so the rice is cooling down and now we have to steam our chicken so we have the remaining piece of the maggi so you are going to um, sprinkle it in there just a tiny bit because i would want to add some more to the rice so um, yes and i'm going to add fortune but you're so mommy Mm -hmm. and we have to add our salt and then some seasoning blend okay so it has to go in there Yes, you also. I forgot to add that there are gizzards in there too, so that it would all steam at once, so that I could fry them together and make the job easier. Yeah, thank you. You also, whilst the chicken is on fire, <laughs> all the chicken is on fire. Um, I have to turn, or you have to turn. We have to because we are learning it together though. So you have to turn the rice, okay? Turn it once every two minutes, I think. So you have to be turning it carefully so that you don't break them into smaller pieces. So you just turn them for the ones below to come on top, okay? So that um, every aspect of the rice will cool down. Yo, <laughs> so one funny thing about an African home is that whilst you are cooking, okay, and everything is on fire and cooking over there and relaxing and chilling, yes, we get to do our own chilling over here. So um, this was the remaining of the rice I cooked and then I fried some sausages and then one egg. Yes, and now we should talk a crab Boston eating. Whilst the food is cooking over there, we are cooking our mouths here. Yes, I forgot to add. Um, I'll add. I'm eating food. Okay, so we are doing our own chilling over here. Say hi. Obedi <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
so this is how you do it. I don't get that teaspoon. Mm. And they're so real. Yo, so the chicken is ready now. So we're about to fry it or them. We're about to fry the chicken and then <laughs> we're about to fry the chicken and then afterwards we'll fry our garden rice. Oh yeah, yeah. At this stage, we are cutting our sausages into smaller pieces so that we can mix them with the rice when we are frying it. And yeah, with the vegetables. <laughs> so yeah, just. Just a little piece of oil will do. We're just frying the sausage and the gizzard first, okay? Okay, guys, so I fried the gizzard okay because it is harder than the sausage and it has to cook before the sausage does. So, sausage is being challenging. You get it here. So, I'm frying the sausage now. Okay guys, so our sausage is done and we are transferring it to this to this plate. Yeah. It is a mixture of sausage, gizzard and a bit like small small pieces of chicken. Next thing we fry are eggs. I forgot to add in the um the ingredients that egg is also part so in assorted in making assorted fried rice egg is the main ingredient like egg in kahuma fried rice no nyeye what you see uh-huh so guys this is the egg part of the whole situation Whisk, whisk, whisk the egg. Yeah, yeah, see you do. And then pour it in the pan. So our scrambled eggs is done now and we are transferring that also into a bowl. So our next thing is the veggies, yeah. I come to find the vegetables separately too. It's 
about time we start mixing the rice and the, the rice is already um, Okay guys, so this is the last of the ingredients. Yeah. This is the last of the ingredients. So after you mix everything together, you mix them in batches, okay, so that you can get the ingredients inside inside the pan so that it will enter everywhere. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So after you are um, done mixing them, you pour all the batches together. Oh, so. Yeah. Mm. Once you put all of them in a small bowl, you mix them. You mix everything together so that the um, ingredients is evenly distributed. <laughs> Alright, so guys, so this is the final setting of the fried rice yeah so this is how it looks like final 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 yeah and no one is invited actually go make your own <laughs> yeah Okay guys, so this is the end of today's video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell somewhere, somewhere below. Like this video, watch my other videos and stick with me. Help me grow. Go with me. Let's grow together. All right. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned one or two things. If you saw some things in the video that you did not like, you can as well write it in the comment section so that I'll know how to present myself better in my other videos. Until then, bye.